So it's Ashton Genty back there behind Maddox Madsen. First play of the game is going to be a fake. They'll go over to the left side. That pass is caught. Complete to Cameron Camper against UNLV. Going to pass. It's Madsen looking over the right side on a swing. Gets it over to Caples. Caples has himself a first down. So 33 trips. He's had 24 touchdowns, 7 field goals. Going for the end zone here. Got a man. Touchdown. Caples got it for 6. 18 yards. And the Broncos strike first. Out last year, redshirt senior year, you see him just run a little look route, a post, but a real skinny one. Not a hard throw for Madsen. Is That's Camper in motion, rolling out to the left side. Madsen looking for Camper, he's got him, spins through a tackle, and has the first down. Trent, the Camper is a part of this Boise game plan. They got it to him in the first drive. They move Madsen, he's comfortable throwing on the run and get it to Camper, a short throw. Pass fake, now trying to get a screen pass, a screen over to Genty. Genty gets through midfield, and it looks like he's gonna have the first down, 16 yards on that game. A little bit of a muddy look here. You see what Maddox Batson is looking at. Genty doing a great job, kind of hiding behind the center. Zach Holmes coming out and making the catch. Dominic Oliver was right there if he had read it. Edge position and what an impact he has made. Pressure with Camp. This time the pass goes through to Chase Penley. It's going to be shy of the sticks. First down. Gentry had such a gritty performance against UNLV last time. Now, now pass over the right side. It's for Wagner. Wagner had his 26 yarder called back. Back in the blue zone. Play action looking for the end zone again, and they got him. Touchdown, Latrell Cables. And Cables has his second of the night for six. Here for a guy that missed last year with injury, as we said, they keep everything on the front side. They keep Cables on the front side. First down. Just one so far in this game. That was on the fake punt. And then the pass round is jumped. Picked up by Amorian McCoy all the way to the end zone. 34 yards on the pick six. You see the dejection on the face of O'Neal McCoy. Him last week against UNLV, only three catches. Does a great job here against their number one receiver, Lewis Brown. Draw here for the next drive. Cooper just two carries, three yards so far. They launch way downfield, and that one's going to be intercepted. It was Tubner that got to it. Works like a punt on third and 20, but Tubner will take it anyway. Special teams, Alexander Tubner. Got a heck of a mustache, too, under that helmet. Doing a good job in support. Rolling of on Banks. the field is an interception by Boise State. First down. Another one of those carryover receivers makes the tackle. To the air, they go to Kenty, and he's got his second catch of the game. And he's brought down to the 25 yard line. Adroit just getting his head around quick as Madsen sees him and delivers that ball. Nobody out there, miscommunications. Five receiver set, pass goes over the right side and is cut. Able to get it to Matt Robert. He's just gonna just keep on trucking. Holding that right arm. He's been their leading tackler in this game. Matt's in all kinds of time in the backfield. Goes the air. He's got another score. Finds Prince Strong for the touchdown. Boise State. 27 0, 14 yards on that one to Strong. Down. As far as production today, it seems like the entire offense is up. He runs an arrow route coming in and then arrowing back out. A little bit of hand play there on the hips of the defender, but some growing pains here early on the blue. Seventh career start is a true freshman opener, one of just two in college football this year. Gets the first down there. The first first down by the Aztecs offense is Aztec offense. O'Neal with some time has a wide open target and he got it to him. Jordan Napier there, 41 yards and a big time third down conversion to that. Well, they needed something, and this is the most positive thing they've had. Napier's lined up in the slot. He's one-on-one -on -one with Ty Benefield. 
Gabriel Pacencia will be the kicker for the Aztecs. 11 12 on the season. This one from 27 yards up and through. And the Aztecs are on the board. You know where to go. Second and 10 coming up. Here comes the Boise pressure. Hand off to Cooper who finds a seam. Gets through one. Cooper's got some space. Off to the right side. He's going to get brought down at the 20. Chased down by Robinson but not before he picks up 45 yards on that carry. Second big play for the Aztecs offense in as many drives. Cooper with a big hole and exploiting it before they score. See if they go back to Cooper here. A quick drive. They do go back to Cooper who spins through a tackle. Cooper fights his way to the end zone. Touchdown, San Diego State. But Guy Cooper, six yards. Marquez Cooper. All of a sudden, the Aztecs showing some life on this drive, and that was a heck of a power run right there for Cooper. Spinning through some tackles, and just fought his way into the end zone right there for San Diego State. Yeah, I love this run, and I like that they got him established a little bit here in the second quarter. I feel like maybe they would not have had first down. Henry hangs on and gets that first. Now on the run again, this one goes to Camper. Sliding makes the catch. That is beside Matson. He's there to help. Rush on, pass over to the left side, and that one is caught. From Lancaster, Texas gets it done. Yeah, he's on the same side there. Cable's just coming. He's man. Showing off his arm here, gets the pass through. That's going to be right at the line, trying to get it to Austin Bolt. He got it 18 yards. Go for it here. Kenzie in the backfield. Fourth and short. They'll go to the air. Madsen looking end zone and he got his man. Touchdown, Latrell Peoples. His third of the night. But you talk to this Boise State coaching staff, they've been all about Maddox Madsen the whole way and his ability to make throws like this a big reason why. Just way too much cushion there from Whitmore. No pressure at all because everybody's so worried about Genty and then. Madsen yeah. will go to the air. Well, now they'll try to scramble out of the pocket. He's got all kinds of running room. Madsen across midfield before he's brought down. Broke that tackle. He had a lot of space. You're going to see Genty with the beautiful pick up there on the edge against McEwen getting in his way. And Madsen with really one of his better runs of the night. Jensi making an impact here, he doesn't have the ball. This time he does have the ball and the seam. Jensi trying to push through, gets by. Jensi's still going and gets down to the 15-yard line. Uli, the whole left side pulls around, and Jensi gets behind him. A nice job by Louder as well, getting a block on Cody Moon, and finally Jensi with a little bit of space to work and break tackles, runs right over Staley. It's Jensi to the right of Madsen, the quarterback. High snap, they give to Jensi. Bounces it to the left side, and he will walk into the end zone. Ashton Jensi gets his first score of the night, and Boise State's piling on here to start the second half. A little surprising, making the most of it. Ashton Jensi, this is a nice little stroll for six for Boise State. For everybody else. How much consideration is that going to be taken when everybody's used to watching these long, the spectacular runs? Not sure. Speaking of spectacular, Strawn nearly broke one off. Yeah, Caples, Camper, and Strawn. Not to mention their quarterback, Maddox. They looked like they could wrestle it away and, and make more of a football game of it, but Boise really killed them at the beginning of the third quarter drive. We're some long drives here. There's Ashton Kenty. Getting a first down. State defense starts to fatigue. This Boise offensive line, very good at going forward. Both play of the drive. Second short. Right back to Ashton Genty. He's got the first down. Answer. Genty dragging the defender. This game not really in peril if you're a Boise State fan, but definitely still going on. Runs right through Moretti. Genty 145 yards now. This time, RPO. Thank you very much, Ashton Chitty. Into the end zone, second time tonight, 20th on the year. And Boise State continues to add and add and add in the end zone.
All of a sudden, those numbers are getting a little bit more impressive, even though he hasn't had a long run. Really well done on that speed option play. Balance for Spencer Danielson in his very first full year as the head coach. Fourth and five over the top, it is caught, and that's gonna be a touchdown. San Diego State, Jordan Napier, 30 yards on the reception, gets into the end zone, first passing touchdown of the day for O'Neal. Back-to-back weeks that Jordan Napier has played really, really well. You see him going up to get this. Back to throw, throw, finds the seam, and scores. The former walk-on gets his second touchdown. They get over 50 points as Malachi Nelson leads a touchdown drive. They let him uncork that arm a couple times and show the arm talent to the fans in the Mountain West action. There's O'Neal looking end zone. Got it for a touchdown. Found Makai Shaw with 30 seconds to go in the game. A 30-yard touchdown toss. Feel a little better about? Yeah, exactly. A couple things to feel better about. Makai Shaw, a former walk-on, a senior who's hung around here in San Diego for the Sean Lewis. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here. From game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings, we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here, College Football on Fox.